The Bible said, give me six pots. He said, 20 to 30 gallons. All right. This is six. I only got one. Everybody say 30 gallons. Y'all with me so far? Don't, don't hurt yourself. I need for you to participate in this next one. Watch me. Uh, he said six. He said there was 20 to 30. He said fill it to the brim. Meaning, if it's the brim, he did 30 gallons. He didn't do 20-ish. He did 30. Everybody say 30. Okay. How many pots was it? Six times three or 30 is 180. Okay. I don't know where this harm is coming from, but that's okay, devil. I'm going to still say this, bar. If you turn around like this, that's 360 degrees, meaning you ain't did nothing. Quit saying to folk, they made a 360 degree. That means they right back in the same place. Okay, I'm trying. Child, they did a 360 degree turn. What they think they, they did this here? And they right back. All right, okay. Uh, Y'all ready? Okay, stand. Everybody stand. Everybody stand. Now, you see the what I'm facing? I'm facing here. Church, amen. amen. Now, I want you to turn around and face the way I'm facing. All right. Now, you're looking at the wall. He says, I'm going to turn your life 180 degrees. All right, turn around. On this wall, we see Old Testament, the cross with New Testament. Okay, turn back around. What you see on that wall is absolutely nothing. But when he changed you, you're going to see what the Father have done. Turn around. You're going to see he's the beginning. And he's the end. But in the middle, you're going to see he died for the beginning. And in the end, I'm, I'm going to get in trouble. I'm going to get in a little trouble. This is my wall. If you turn around, there's nothing on that wall. So the reason why I'm not on Facebook or Twitter, because I'm updating. I got too much on this wall to turn around and look at a wall that ain't got nothing. If you ain't on this wall and you turn around on that wall, that means you gonna write on that wall. And that wall is going to be the wall that's going to condemn you because you don't know how to deal. <laughs> the people who don't fool with a whole lot of foolishness because they instead of updating. I got too much I need from him to be anywhere else. I got too much I need to get from him because he done turned my life 180 degrees God that gave me too much that I can look at him if I'm looking at Genesis Exodus a little good number do the one I got too much to go to my new Matthew Mark Luke John why anybody know that the father died for you I dare you to give God a hallelujah oh just just nudge your neighbor say neighbor which wall are you looking at? Everybody say six water pots. Everybody say 30 gallons. All right. He said, Jesus said, go and get me six of them. He said, fill it to the brim. Now, that's 180 gallons for a house with
You don't need one gallon. Okay, somebody going to be I used to be slow. I ain't tripping. It's a house. It's what you, your guests won't even drink. Jesus said, give me. Um, There's a word for somebody. God is going to bless you beyond the measure of what you need. His overflow is so awesome because I don't need nothing honestly but want. He said, fill it to the brim. Everybody say, fill it to the brim. Okay, now, I, I, I need it because I, 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 ministers, I, I, I was in a blank. Because I said, God, my question, why fill it to the brim? I understand the cup. Because he said, fill my cup, let it overflow. Meaning, some people got more blessings in their saucer than you got in your cup. That's another day for another time. That's the reason why you need to learn how to step around some folk. Why? Because you need to know that it's a lot of blessing. And if my cup is overflowing, I got more blessings in my salsa than you got in your cup. That's why you got to stop condemning people because you just never know. I, listen, I ain't ashamed. I thank God that it was somebody's overflow that brought me to where I am today. It was somebody's overflow that blessed me. It was somebody helping me to get to the cup that I got today. Give God a hallelujah praise. So, I said, Lord, so why would you fill up the pot? He said, he said, fill it up with water. And he said, dip it. Everybody got it? Everybody say dip. If you dip, it's going to but he said he was going to turn or he was going to give them wine. So he said dip. When they dip, it went. Because everybody who was there probably didn't taste it. But if I dip, you'll see it. What God is doing in your life, for folks who don't believe, you've been changed. Your pot ain't the same. But the only way they going to know when you dip, then the stuff start overflowing. Now, you ain't got to taste and see. All you got to do is just seek. Now, some folks mad at you because they know there's a change in your life. They didn't taste it, but they keep seeing it overflowing. That's the reason why every time you look around, folks saying this, but my question is, what are you filled with? Because whatever you feel with going to overflow, I ain't going to get no help in here. If you feel with love, love just going to overflow. Oh, I'm going to get in trouble. I'm, 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 I'm going to get in trouble. I'm about to get in trouble. I don't need to say this. Because I'm about to get in trouble. I'm going to get in trouble. God, why are you going to... That's the reason why I look at some men and women and you wonder why nobody want to talk to you, brother? Why nobody want to talk to you, woman? Because, see, if I see an overflow, I ain't got to see what's in it. I see what's coming out of it. I know y'all ain't going to say it. You ain't got to say amen to me. Because you, if you're full of hell, all I got to do is watch you the way you deal with somebody else. And I know not the fool that y'all ain't going to pray with me. Is you ain't going to say amen to that, is it? You don't want to say nothing though, is it? No, you don't want to say amen. Because all you got to see, watch somebody else dip in the cup. Because somebody else dip in the cup. If you got love, love will come out. If you got hope, hope will come out. If you got love, it'll come out. But if you're mean as hell, it's going to come out. If you're low down as hell, it's going to come out. If you're gossiping, it's going to come out. And they're going to find out you ain't the one to deal with. Because I see every time I dip the wrong stuff. And 
And some folks hate you because of what's coming out. They see the blessings of God on your life and still don't want to recognize it. That my, every time you dip, he said, ain't number six. Why the pots? He said, I got enough to feed the whole army. But God said, I got enough for you that when you dip, it'll overflow. And God said, everything else, it don't even matter. Anybody know besides myself that you was filled with something else? But when he touched it, watch this, watch it. He didn't say he was going to dip in it. He told them to dip in it. Meaning, saints, the evidence is if somebody else dip into this cup, they'll know how good and plentiful God have blessed your life. Anybody beside myself know that God turned water into wine? Watch it. 180 degrees, then he turned it. Try that again. I ain't on that wall no more. When I seen Jesus, okay, I'm to one more time. I ain't got hell no more. I'm done with Facebook. Why I'm talking to you? Why I'm dogging you? I'm doing. I know. I, that's okay. You ain't got to shout today. I just hope you get it. You low down on that wall. Everything on that wall, you put on that wall. Everything you talking about, you put on that wall. But when you turn around and see Jesus, he'll feel. Okay, I'm going to try it one more time. I know. You ain't got to say it, man. If you're looking this way, because there ain't nothing that's happening. That's the reason I want to talk to you. That's why jobs ain't trying to get you. That's the reason why folks ain't dealing with you. But when you turn around and see the purple cross, he'll feel. If your water pot is empty, it's because you're looking 